For the record, I'm calling foreshadowing on this one. You know, just a point worth making, I suppose. Sorry, I will never not let you watch somebody get shanked. But I will cock block you. Like Ignore me! Right, and after that interesting diversion, good day to you and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, the Britannia Campaign. Fred of Asgarnia here, your host as always, and I believe the first order of business ought to be- business, even? Ought to be to up the master volume a little bit, or at the very least, the music volume. Because frankly... Nah. Nah. Oh dear. Oh, it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I just noticed the volume was scarce, or the music was scarcely audible in the last video. Which is a damn shame, because the um, the soundtrack in this particular game, as the point I made on my very first Total War video, is phenomenal. It was done by Jeff Van Dyke, what do you expect? The Total War franchise went downhill when he left, and then it went back up in Shogun 2 when he came back. Right, so, as I recall, we were building up an army in Carnarvon it will be an honor defeating you. to defend against this bugger. Which I'm quite confident that we can do, but I'm also quite tempted now to hit him in the arse via Chester. I mean look, he's left Montgomery completely undefended. So what I could do, I could do one of two things, because last time we thrashed uh, we thrashed two armies here. And we did it bloody well, actually. Very few, I'd say not more than a hundred casualties. So, on to Oxford. Don't know is it worth hitting London, but we're gonna hit Oxford anyway. Basically, we're gonna do, we are going to do to the Welsh what Admiral, what was the, was it? Yes, what Admiral Farragut did, the con, did to the Confederacy when he cut the Mississippi River. He sailed up it, took the river, and uh, essentially cut the Confederacy in two. That's what we're gonna do to Wales. We're gonna strike at their capital here at Oxford. God knows why, I suppose it probably, I don't know why he doesn't say Cardiff or Shrewsbury or you know, somewhere that's in, I don't know, Wales, but... So what is it, what's that, what is it that joke that you are almost guaranteed to hear people make? What's the best sight a Scotsman, a Welshman, what's the best sight that a Scotsman ever saw? The high road to England. Oh, brotherly business. Alright, so what's happening here? That army's backed off. Where's he gone? You know, ah, bugger it, I'm upping the master volume. I don't like having my game quite so quiet. And then... Yeah. I'm sure that'll do, and if it doesn't, bugger it. It's one episode. So where's that other fellow gone? They shall not see me, sire. Right, they're massing around... It will be an honor defeating you. They are actually preempting us. Clever buggers, aren't they? They're actually heading for wherever that place is. I'm sorry, I don't know my English geography. Shrewsbury. Marching to engage the enemy, I'm pretty sir. sure that's in the far side of England. Okay, so we failed a mission. We're supposed to take Cardiff. But we had other fish to fry. Brian McSweeney feels honored. So he's actually, he's totally useless as a, as a general, but he's loyal. It's like saying you're an idiot. It's like a, it's like a husband and a wife having an argument. You're an idiot. But you're my idiot. And I used to think that was somewhat endearing. I think otherwise now. Horse boys, haven't seen you in a while. Get me I don't know. Just hire some men. We'll send them to war. Meanwhile in Carnarvon, if we don't have we don't have generals to we have armies, but we don't have generals to lead them. Fleet ready. Princess? Hi, my king. How long have we How long have we had princesses? I did not even realize we still made these things. Right, well, she's not particularly attractive to the looks of us. Finding love on her own terms has made her happy, but should one of her suitors find out? She's a charming counsel. Those of noble birth always display a more effective grasp of etiquette and courtesy. But this girl... There's little to separate this wretched creature from a bar wench. Well... I, Lord. My king. Master of the house. I. What can I do? My king. Marching south. 
We march no further today. This is a field. It's a good field army, but I'm not actually sure how competent it would be. Jesus, we're really st Oh, hang on, I know why. Because most of yeah, there, there we go. Most of the people we adopt end up in Derry. Fergus, you're just the man I need. Yep, give me two batteries of artillery, and then we'll march you south. Get some Clithari from down Patrick. Send them to the boats. Aye, we'll have another army come up on them. Although I've known things in Ireland to be better. Considerably better. The thing is, we have armies, but we haven't got generals to lead them. Oh, wait, hang on, we have you. Whoa, whoa, where, where have you been all my life? Lawrence of Cork. Legacy of Dread? <laughs> right. Keen of Cork is probably a father. But he abhors drink. That's good, actually. An Irishman who abhors drink isn't scarce an Irishman at all. But I'm glad to have him as my Irishman. So. Okay, I'm sorry. I will come back when something interesting happens. This campaign is dragging on for a while. We need to take Pembroke. I probably should. The Welsh, I must have chanced. Bran McSweeney. Let's hope you don't break your legs like Brandon Stark. Okay, I'll be back when something interesting happens. Those fucking pricks! They've killed Davin of Dundalk. Those Welsh spavined Welsh bastards! Right, fine. Keen. Actually, do we have a spy in Nottingham? Okay, do we have a spy? Actually. We must have a spy. We had a bloody spy network at one point. You. I don't know if I want to sacrifice my eyes in the south, but you're joining the army. On my way. Watching over. Aye. Right. Ah, oh, good. Caleb Carlo. You forgive me if I don't trust you. Command me. I won't lie, I'm a little bit apprehensive. Aye, Lord. All right. Take the city. I don't care how good you are. You're nothing to our dear. I'll punch a hole through the walls and cut the bastards to bits. And that's they're being put to the sword for the. Make for the hills, lads. Run. Okay, hang on a minute. Hold on. Right, we shall maintain the siege. I suspect it's because the commander was, uh, you know, killed, assassinated, murdered. We'll stand off on them. Yeah, okay, right. Of course I'll bl I'm not losing my army, hang on. There's something uh, there's something up here. I'd say it's it's a case of morale. I don't see how our army could possibly be beaten by those bastards. But we'll maintain the siege anyway. That's really weird. More than a little bit unusual. I have no desire to offer battle, but uh, Jesus, we should have—we should be able to hack through these bastards. They shouldn't offer us any trouble. I'm not sure, though. I want to—I suppose this is a field army, isn't it? It's better suited to engaging them openly than. Right. I suppose the best thing I could do. Send this unit of knights to occupy the fort. Glory to the king. Come and get me, coward. That should let us occupy them for a while. That'll that'll keep them occupied for a time anyway. Aye. Then continue Aye, to child. you know get the army on board. Where's the fight? Once he is aboard. Oh, hang on a minute. Have we mercs? All right, mercenaries. Some more Galaglia. Heavy infantry will never go amiss. Now. Suppose it might be worth landing them here. We can take... What is this? Pembroke. That's worth money to us. March them south then to Carlisle. Or, not Carlisle. Uh, Cardiff! Jesus. Yeah, I think it's really just a case of mobbing up now. <coughs> okay, fine. We've experienced a couple of setbacks. That's no big deal. Right. What we'll do is we'll have Keen take up point here. We 
do we have a spy with the army? We have a spy with the army, so immediately that increases security. The Welsh aren't likely to hit us now. Nottingham, uh, get some things together, a trebuchet or two, and then we'll march that army probably to London, Norwich, somewhere. Jeez, those are the worst odds ever for what it is. But, um, yeah, okay, so at the moment, everything's. I won't lie and say that everything's, you know, rosy in the garden because it ain't, but it could be worse. We can keep him held up for a while. Although, a, Jesus, what? A diplomat. Well, I'm not, I'm not treat Adam Ryan. Huh. I don't intend to treat with them. Oh my! Oh what? Oh my God! That's so weird. I'm sorry. I need to comment on this. Adam Ryan is the name of my spy. <coughs> my assassin is called Finn Kane. My real name is Adam Kane. That's really unusual. Okay, fine, but shank the bastard. I don't see how you could possibly muck this up, but I'm sure you'll find some way of doing it. Splendid! Prepare to die. Rice cake, I hope you're proud of me. I've finally conquered my baser instincts and have resolved to commit murder. Sugar cane. Well, poor bastard's dead, and that might just dent the Welsh economy a little bit. Which is what we need, so I'll be back as soon as something else interesting happens. Probably not gonna happen. It would seem as if somebody took a swing at Keen, but they missed. So as it stands, we're actually alright. The Welsh tried to slit our throats, but we're still here. Esther, I thought that was Eater. Alright, okay, so we have another army massed here. My only concern is that, well, quite frankly, if they move in force, I don't think this is going to be enough to throw them back. And then, well, there's this problem. Okay, he's a night fighter. Well, shame. Alright, we'll see how an auto resolve works here. Whether a general makes it. See the difference a general makes! That's Oxford, that's ours. Now you! What do you want? I'm not after you. Five seconds that you weren't. A couple of minutes ago you were bay you were bra baying for my blood. Anyway, Oxford is ours. Which is well. I want those walls patched up. I am not having another... This man's the perfect... He's the perfect... He's the perfect character. He's a good commander. He's dread, he's loyal, and he has... Well, he's got a managerial capacity to make Leo J24 envious. Alright, so, while we wait for our esteemed commander, I suppose I might as well bolster our navy a little bit more. Be right back. I think I have just outfoxed the Welsh again. They have an army marching north, true. But what I'm doing now is, I've marched my men around the Welsh, crossed the bridge, and now, I've garrisoned the fort. Which means that this army under Captain Robert is now powerless to stop me hitting Montgomery. They don't need, that fort doesn't need to be held. It just needs to be held long enough for us to bring down Mont, to break, shut up. It just needs to be held long enough long enough for us to break through Mon to make ah, to take Montgomery. In the meantime, I'll recruit more men in Lancaster and march them south. Same for Carnarvon. Get me more troops, build me an army worthy of Mordor. Chester should be able to hold out if they do attack. Don't know for how long, but long enough. Meanwhile, we still have this army. We have, we're getting ready to move it, move it somewhere. I'm just not sure where. Again, I'll be back when something interesting happens. And we've caught their king, who is now dead. I wouldn't call it noble, but it does give us a little bit of money. We desperately need it. Okay, be right back. I'm pretty sure Pembroke is about to go down the toilet. Although, I could be wrong. No, Pembroke is ours. 
Right, so that almost puts the coast under our control. I'm just going to recruit some... Well, arrow fodder in essence. Then we're going to assault Cardiff. But because we forgot the artillery, oh shit. We lack artillery, so we're going to have to wait a turn or two to capture Cardiff. I suppose I could try to send support. But yeah, look, as it is, I think this is pretty much the end of the campaign. Oh, right. <laughs> Another faction being us. I know I'm not really going into detail, I'm just kind of sweeping through, but as it is... I mean, look at this. We control 32 regions, we need 33. Cardiff is going to fall. That's inevitable. The Welsh can't pass by... Shut the fuck up. They can't cross there, so we're going to... We will take Cardiff. <coughs> They're trying to cross here, but that doesn't really avail them. It doesn't avail them at all, actually. Aye, sire. March. Combining the armies, sire. We'll probably have an army hit Winchester eventually. Don't know if that's going to happen this turn, but I will show you one big battle. One final battle before this ends. So, right. I probably rambled for a bit. Well, you were never actually supposed to hold this city. There's 13 of you. Right, come on! There is no way in hell you can win this battle. You, The only reason I put them there was to stop the Welsh crossing. It doesn't matter to me if they occupy the fort. I'm just going to ride my men at the Welsh and end their lives in a blaze of glory. I did call this a matter of foreshadowing, didn't I? Well, good. Don't say you weren't warned. Well, say your words. Some of our foes have a price on their heads. A head needs lopping. Try not to think of the money. Really? Right, I'm pretty sure we have a zero chance of victory here. So, we're just... Jesus, I'd never realized how well built these forts were. Actually, actually, there is a very real chance we could set, if we set fire to the battering ram, this battle's essentially finished. But if you can leave via any exit at all, are there any ways out of this bloody place? Nah, if they attempt an escalate, we're screwed anyway. Well, might as well just end it gloriously. Because I can tell you, there is no way in holy hell we can win this. Right! Ride for ruin! And I'll flank the bastards. Can you do that? Seems to... Whoa, Jesus. This is like, um, the ride of the Rohirrim. Come on, run through them. Only half our force remains. Well, that didn't take much. I didn't think it would. This defeat is a bitter drop to swallow. <laughs> Next time it will be our foe that sups from this most foul cup. Well, what did you expect? We still took 26 of the bastards with us. That's... That's twice... That, that's twice our number. Look, did you really expect that to end any other way but how it did? Okay, so they took the fort and we lost a company of knights. It's no big deal. Alright, alright. Stop crowing. It doesn't mean anything, other than maybe they can march their men from Shrewsby directly to Oxford. Miscreant's demise. We will have to execute a man. By execute, I mean slit his throat, and we actually have the means to oh, do it. Alright, well, just power what men you can, and then we will take Cardiff. Battles won. Cardiff is ours. Slaughter the people. And now... Deal with him. Execute them. We have no need of men. Now that we have a... Jeez, I wonder where that was. Alright, well, anyway. Caleb Carlo, yes, yes, yes. I know I'm rushing through everything, but there's really no need to do anything but rush through at this stage. Okay, let's see. 
they did that and then just completely walked around. Okay, fine by me. Aye, Lord. Okay, get the army of London. March them south. Okay, this is the end for me. I'll be back in just a minute. Next session, of course. Alright, lads, this is the end of it. Good day to you, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, the Britannia Campaign. Fred of Asgarnia here for what I know will be the final time. Now, brief overview. In the last episode, I know it was basically just running around, taking cities, no real action. And the reason is, I'm almost done. Look at this. God, King Merc at the mad. But anyway, we need 35 regions to win the game. Right now, we have 34. So, and as you can see, we're laying siege to Winchester. Now, I know a lot of you probably would have liked to see me take London, or, you know, Ireland, take it, the English capital, but look, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm at the end of it. This is it. This is the last city. So Lawrence of Cork is now laying siege to Winchester. We brought heavy artillery. He's attacking. He's going to conduct a night attack. And now we will destroy them. They've got scarce 200 men. And we have the cream. We have the best bloody infantry in Ireland. The Mura. We'll break through. Well, jeez, I hope we do. Heaven help us if they don't. But anyway, this is the end of us. I'd say for better or for worse. Jesus, the odds are still... I was thinking the odds were against us. We outnumber them three to one. So, we're going to attack. This is it. Kill them all. Cry! God for Harry! England and St. George! Okay, we'll rewrite that. Cry! God for Harry! Ireland and St. Patrick! This is it. The final battle against the Welsh. Not against the English, the Welsh got there first, but these Welsh people sound much like the English, because I imagine CA got uh, decidedly lazy in the end. But here we are, the final battle. A night attack. The Welsh are running us rabbit, and although I know we could ramp running, running us ragged, and although I know we could win, I know we could win if we, you know, fought all their individual armies, it's just too much bother. Right now, this is the end. We have them by the balls. Cowled. At them. Under the breach. Under the breach, dear friends. Under the breach once more. I don't care. I'm going to blow the city up and that'll be the end of us. Under the breach, dear friends. Under the breach once more. And let us fill up the walls with our Irish dead. Or preferably their Welsh dead. So, we'll form up our grand battery. Put... Put together a forlorn hope. That's this is it. These are our lads. These are the ones that are going to go into the breach. We'll put a skirmish line ahead of them. You are the cannon fodder of this enterprise. <coughs> I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, there's going to be no mucking around. It's just in, kill the bastards, and that's the end of us. Just at them. Pound them. Pound the bastards into submission. That wall's coming down and we're going through the breach. Have to move these guns a bit closer. Oh god, a rear bolt. Uh, actually, I'm beginning to question the wisdom of that decision. Ah, never mind. Just batter the, batter the walls down. There's nothing they can do. Why fire? That's completely useless. Right, so I have no idea how much damage we're inflicting, but I'm going to move up the assault party. You know, as Wellington said before the Battle of Victoria, or, you know, in sharp he said us. Come at them once more, lads, they won't stand. Which I would like to think is true. I don't expect the bastards to hold. We'll send the pike, we'll send the Highlanders up in, in support afterwards. You lot, hold your ground. I don't know what you're doing. You're not going to be able to hit them. This is more of an anti-personnel weapon than anything else. I know it looks actually a lot like some of the sketches I've seen of Da Vinci. He was supposed to have made a... A rotating machine gun. It's a little bit like that. A little bit. Not much else. 
But here we go! In fact, this whole night attack thing could probably be considered a metaphor or a, a microcosm for what we're doing to whales. Sure, we could fight the whale shout like men, but right now we're sneaking in the back doors and winning the, uh, winning in a decidedly dishonorable manner. But then again, wars were never won by men playing fair. So, right now I suppose just pound them. Pound them with everything we've got. And I'll be back when the walls fall. Again, I'm on limited hard drive space, so cut me some slack here. Not sure how much longer they're going to endure that kind of punishment, but I can see Jericho coming down, Jericho falling very, very soon. God, they haven't even mounted men on the walls. What a horror, what a bloody poor show. Be right back. Sorry. Just thought you know it's a fine sight watching. I've never actually, we've never come under cannon fire. We did from the Scots, but that was about the end of us. But I don't think I've ever actually given a sh close up of, you know, our guns doing their business. So let's see. Now the little rear bolt, the pop gun. And now for the heavy artillery. And that will probably break down the wall. If you can hit the bloody thing. Come on! Ugh. Even Jericho wasn't this stubborn. Be right back. And there we go! Onto the breach! Now, I'll order my cannon to open fire at the gatehouse. Or just hopefully get rid of those blasted towers. I call them a colossal pain in the arse. So if we can knock out those towers, I believe I will be quite a happy man. So, I'll send the Aquabusseers ahead of the main line, along with the Jesse Javelinmen. Just see what they can do. Pick off the bastards. Now, just an interesting interesting thing to note. I was reading, um, I was reading Sharp's Fortress. It's basically about, uh, you know, the Sharp series is about, uh, you know, basically the British Army, its campaigns, with Richard Sharp, of course, being involved. Fictional hero. But it was talking about his time in India and the Siege of Gawalagar. Now, the Siege of Gawalagar was basically after the Battle of Assay, I think in, was it, um, 1803? I think it was 1803. It could have been 1804. It was 1803. Richard Sharp somehow ended up, uh, well, after the Battle of Assay, in which Arthur Wellesley, the future Duke of Wellington, dealt with, there we go, just break them up a little bit. Uh, dealt with a confederation of Indian um, states known as the Maratha Confederacy. You might remember in my last Let's Start, I was playing as them. But um, essentially, Wellesley had just beaten off a confederation of Indian tribes and had now then moved on to deal with the. basically what was left of the Maratha armies that had pent itself up in Gawalagar, which was a mountain fortress. Now, this, it was a big fortress in the mountains. So, what Wellesley did. Of course, he had to knock down the walls, and this was a nightmare, bringing the guns and everything up and bringing them to bear. But Wellesley managed it. Somehow. He did us. Beat the bastards. But it took about it took about two weeks for them to hammer down the walls. And I think in some sieges, such as uh, the Siege of Badajov in Spain, it took much longer. Now, if you look at you look at it, you know, it took, what, a couple of minutes to knock down the walls? It's just interesting to note these things. The liberties they took. For the sake of the game. And then here come the rest of the men. Jessies, if you would please move ahead. Now, moving my Aquabusseers up in close order. Okay, you can stop firing, you're gonna get our own men killed. Have the Aquabusseers just thin out the ranks. Alright, cease fire, cease fire. And now, Adam! Pikeman, you may move in as the reserve and in support. Now, we deal with what's left of the bastards. Amura have gone ahead of the line and there are shock troops. If they cannot break these men, I do, I do not believe there is any force in the whole world that can deal with these spearmen if Amura can't do it. They're the best bloody troops in the army. The men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The only reason I didn't really want to show any prolonged battles is because they're much the same. With the Welsh armies, it's just a case of closing the gap 
sending the cavalry to deal with their archers, of which compose most of their men, and uh, that's generally the end of the battle. There isn't a whole lot to it other than that. So move the pikes out of their formation and get them to come in as a run. And you lot are getting picked... That tower isn't being dealt with. Pop it! I doubt this will hold up much longer, honestly. 30 men, we've taken next to no casualties by the look of it. Yes, please just keep chucking your doing your stuff. And once our um, once these pikemen close the gap, we'll pour them into the breach. Form them up and then pour them into the breach, of course. Actually, depress your depress your guns, depress your barrels. See if we can hit the gate. Get the gate open, we'll be doing even better because then we can take them in the flank. Took you long enough. <sighs> Come on, can you hit the gate? Please? Because, you know, I'd be really grateful if you did. Whoa, that's not bad. Alright, deploy them over... Move the pikemen over here. The gatehouse can't take... That gatehouse will take one more shot and it'll collapse. Okay, meanwhile in the breach, I think they know they're doomed. There's only eight of them and they still haven't broke. Come on, one more volley, one more on the gate, and that's the end of it. Oh, sorry, we're just talking about the gatehouse and not the actual gate. More's the pity. Alright, that's them dealt with, deal with the spearmen. Skirmishers! I don't care, just run the bastards out of town. They've surrendered the breach, so... Alright, send in the cavalry, if you please. Right, okay, I'll be back in just the a second. You're a little bit too late. But then, better late than pregnant, eh? Right, just throw them at the south weir. I don't want them doing any more harm they're already doing. So send in the knights, and send them around the flank. I'll be right back. Just hard drive space, you know, the way it is. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Do you choose to talk when I talk? Because you were silent until I hit record. But anyway, the spearmen are very gallant. They've withdrawn and left their missile infantry undefended. It's funny, considering that it's normally the job of the missile infantry to be protected by the spearmen. Right, so we're moving up the pikemen in close support. Have them form ranks and continue to advance. The knights are coming around the flank, and hopefully before long we can get them in a back street somewhere. This is pretty much the end, though. The Welsh have fought gallantly, but... They're done. Siege after siege has proven that there isn't a force in the world that can stand up to Armura. Agar, too, you describe them as little balls of power. Pretty accurate assessment, in all honesty. There is not a force on earth that can stand up to them. It's like Wellington's Scotsman at the Battle of Assay. Wellington's army was outnumbered. There was scarce 5,000 infantry against, I think, a twice three times that number. Professional infantry. Wellesley himself had about 15,000 men. 7,000. Against 100,000 Marathas. It didn't matter a whole lot, because most of them were irregulars and, irregulars and poorly trained. But, the ones that they were, essentially his Scotch troops were shot to bits, sabred, blown apart. They walked stoically into volley after volley of musketry, of uh, cannon fire. And guess who broke? It wasn't the Scotsman. The 78th. They just marched in and annihilated them. It's exactly what happened here. Amura have walked into countless battles, taken arrows, bullets, swords, spears, you name it. But yet they still keep on trucking. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Highland, Highlanders keep advancing. <laughs> Actually, while we're on the subject of Highlanders, the 78th, the 92nd will advance. Reserve the cannon. The right. enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Well, don't dilly. Get to the front and just pick them off. Scans up. They can do little. They can actually. They can do precious little. So, I'm actually in half intending just to shoot the bastards to bits. 
Don't get involved in the melee. They formed into a Shiltrom. Basically, head Latin for Hedgehog, I believe. Oh no, they haven't. It just looks like it. A Shiltrom, basically, a circle of spears. It's very brave. But in the meantime, now our Aquabusers are just taking pot shots at them. There's not a whole lot they can do now. Oh dear. Alright, well, there's little else you can do. Just deploy in their rear now and shoot them from behind. Doesn't take much. Now, oh, pikeman on pikeman. Spear on spear. With bullets being poured into one into the backs. Good the enemy the general, general is dead. dead. And that's the last you time you're gonna hear that. Do you mind not getting involved in brawls? The battle is very much in our favor. Where's the cavalry? We remain true and steadfast. Victory will be ours. Well, take a side street, we're gonna hit him in the arse. In the meantime, just keep shooting. There's damn all they can do now. I'm sorry, the commentary is very banal, very repetitive. But I've said just about all I can say. The biggest flaw with Total War games I find on every version I've played has just been the nature of siege battles. They fight to the bitter end. In Christ, in most cases when people when people broke into a city, that was the end of it. The armies just scattered. Okay, sure, you had instances where that wasn't the case, but that's how it played out. You'd have people would break into the city. And uh didn't last very long afterwards. And that's it. They're done. Knights, right into position. Scotch versus Welsh, what could go wrong? Just run them down. Cease fire. Cease fire. It says a lot. We've gone from the age of sword and shield to the age of powder. Seven of them. And three men. Who just one guy just got hit in the face with a torch. And there's. And that's it. In the words of well. Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. And that is the Irish campaign. Finished! Just as this fellow sums it up. An Ulster man on his knees. Okay, I'm gonna cut the record. No, no, no. If we cross the bridge, we're dead men. I'm sure we've thought that a couple of times throughout this Let's Play. Anyway, that's the end of it. I hope. Have mercy, my lord. Kill him. And that's it! That's all she wrote! It's always worth winning a game just for these cutscenes. Doesn't happen enough though. The ones, well, some of the, oh well, yeah. I just, oh, I love the, I just love the cutscene. That monk, I love him. No homo, which is what God said when he put the male G spot in the in the anus. But there you go, victory. Sure live, Connie Aronavin. No, I don't want to continue playing, and there's a very good reason for us. I won't lie, I've enjoyed this Let's Play, but it's been going on for about a year. I've done, I've started this Let's Play in December of 2012. It's now the, God, it's, I think it's the, tw it's the 20th of March, 2014. It's almost two, it's about a year and a half later. I've had a good run of this, but I think I'm done with Medieval for now. I've had my fill of Medieval Warfare, I've played as Ireland, I've enjoyed it. It's been a good Let's Play. It was an enjoyable one, because I've never played as Ireland before. And it's immensely satisfying when you take 
probably the unluckiest country in the whole of Western Europe, in terms of, uh, well, governance. Of course that depends on who you ask, but as a, um, I don't know a great deal about, you know, a lot of the smaller countries within Europe, but I'm pretty, as, as small nations go, Ireland has had a pretty rough time of it. It's interesting to see a country which historically has had very little, well, politically at least. During the medieval period, you could say that Ireland had very little political influence upon the affairs of Europe. Pretty mostly because it remained under the under the dominion of um, of the English crown. Okay, I know you will have disputes about that, but I mean on a you know as as nation states go, Ireland Ireland never really made much of a splash on your in European affairs. Sure, later it came to influence the world in terms of. Well, thinkers, poets, writers, emigrants to America, you know, it all had a pretty big impact on a global scale, but during this period, Ireland was well past her prime. You had Ireland during the Dark Ages being referred to as the land of saints and scholars, but I'm pretty sure that by the time, by 1258, Ireland, Ireland's, Ireland's golden age had passed. And I suppose you could say she was entering about eight centuries of darkness. Change now, of course, but it's just interesting to see a country like Ireland make a splash and to take over practically all of Britain. I would continue to fight, but I just think at this stage, it's a foregone conclusion. With most Total War games, once you reach the stage of the game, you know you could conquer the country. And you could do it if you want. But given that I'm, you know, this Let's Play's been going on for a while, I need- I want to get on to another Total War game, maybe? Or, do another game as I'm thinking of. Hush hush here. But for the meantime, that's it. Ireland. On the 9th, 20th of November- 20th of- March, March, three days after Paddy's Day, 2014, let it be known that the Ireland campaign was finished. I hope you've all enjoyed us. I know this has actually proven to be one of my more popular Let's Plays, and I think it's because there aren't many cover- well, when it was released. There weren't too many- there weren't too many ga- there weren't too many Total War ga you know, there weren't too many Kingdoms campaigns out there, and Ireland bred a bit of a select one. Ireland always tends to be a popular choice. So that's the end of it. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing it. Admittedly, towards the end game, I'm a little bit fed up, but that happens. That happens to me. I start out enthusiastic, and by the end game, I'm just thinking, ugh, finish it. But I've enjoyed the game. It's been a good run. It's my first Total War game that I've finished. I will try to get it uploaded ASAP. Falk, <laughs> you know yourself how slow I've been with things. If you even watch this, you may, you may not. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed us. So, I will sign off for the final time. This has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always, and I am signing off. Toodaloo. Boss in era. God save Ireland. Yeah, you'll never beat the Irish. That's what this has proven. Very rarely, at least. So, toodaloo. This has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always, and I am signing off.